So we got a viral video of Dwight Howard pushing his son through a workout. Some people say it's borderline abusive. Some people say it's just good parenting. Tell me what you think when you see it. So this is how the most of the comments went about this video. This is starting off leading the charge of Royce Reed, which is one of Dwight Howard's baby mothers. Not someone pretending to be a parent for one day out of 365 for the cameras, laughing emoji. Don't make Thursdays turn into truth Thursday. I mean, Royce Reed is not the mother of this son that's being showed in the video. So how would she know what type of parent he's being to him? And then she's talking about um, she's going to expose him. I guess, but the whole reason that she's able to live the way she's able to live is because of the three-year-old son that they have together. Dwight Howard funds all of this. She's a so-called actor, but she's on a reality TV show because of Dwight Howard's name. And some people could call into question her parenting, considering that she has a neglect case going on with one of her other sons by a different father. I'm not going to place blame on her just yet because the case is ongoing, but it's clearly still something to be talked about there. Here's a couple other random comments in the comments section. What was he trying to do? Make the child have a heart attack? It's the same how certain men are always trying to make boys do things to the extreme, but never takes time out to nurture or teach boys anything knowledgeable. Listen, this isn't really extreme. Like anybody who body isn't used to working out and you have to work out, you know the pain that he's going through right now. And it's just something mental that has to be taught to push through it. And this is the type of things that fathers teach. Men don't do nurturing as much as women do. We teach different, but we love just the same though. One more comment. I'm so sick and tired of these men that are not able to live their lives like they want to, that they make everyone around them unhappy. Dwight, go on to get you a boyfriend and stop terrorizing your son. So listen, we didn't all seen the alleged rumors and the memes and all of that about Dwight Howard, this, that, and other. But the thing is, whether you believe the rumors or not, what does that have to do with what we're talking about here as a father? But I knew women would use this as a talking point to undercut him and what he's trying to do for his son right now. You understand? He's not terrorizing. He's teaching his son how to mentally have fortitude that he would be able to push through things in life. But women, normally when they see fathers teaching in this manner, they want to save the baby. They want to, why, why are you doing that? To, you know what I'm saying? And ironically, that comes from a lot of black women who it don't matter if they were single mothers or if the, the father was in the house too a lot of black women who whoop their kids so it'd be cool when the women be going upside the kid's head but when the father teaches in the manner that he's teaching he ain't went upside his head or nothing but all of a sudden everybody want to save the baby and trust me when you keep saving the baby you're doing him a disservice that's why the statistics say that Children thrive better either with the father by himself or with the father and the mother in the home. The teaching sticks better coming from the man. That's what the stats say. And so you really would benefit yourself and the child by letting the father parent the way that the father is going to parent. Because otherwise, when you keep trying to save the baby, what happens? When he turns 15, who are you sending to? Because he acting out. Right? Go stay with your daddy. He too much. I can't deal with him no more. You understand what I'm saying? Not only that, when you step in and save the baby from how the father is trying to parent, you take away some of the most beautiful bonding experiences that that son could ever have with that father or that daughter could ever have with that father. Some of the most magical push through moments where the child figures out that he know he can do something that his father was pushing him to do. Or when he finally understands a lesson that his father was trying to teach. And, and I'm, I'm going to play a couple videos just so you really get what I'm saying. Oh, there you go. 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 Oh, there you go.
got you. No, you're not. No, you're not. I got you. 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 Mental. 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 Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Mental. Mental. Look at him. Mental. Yo, check. Check. There. Yo, mental, 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 my leg, my leg, my leg, my leg, Jaden, damn, damn, I got you, Jaden, damn, I got you, Jaden, Jaden, Jaden. This is why in most of these cases, it's best not to even have the mother around when you're trying to have these push through teachable moments because mother would have wanted to snatch him up out the eye. But you see how the father kept teaching. And the second time around, he was cooler. He was calmer. He was collected. He made it through. But this second video right here, this one really got me, though. Man, that video right there. That video of that little dude changing I can't to I can. I will never forget this video just watching it. This is seared into my brain now. For him to get that amped up. Realizing that he, he can do it. For his father pushing him through it. I, I will not forget this video. So I know. I know. That him and his father would never forget this moment. This moment is, I mean, you, you cannot put a price tag on moments like this. And this is the, the, the breakthrough moments that you have to let fathers be able to, 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 to push their children through. And I know at first it seemed like it was very crazy, the way he was hollering, the way he was, you know. Kids do that when they are introduced to some type of new like discipline that they are not used to. They get very overly dramatic and cry and go all nuts, you know, tantrums, just like the white Howard son was crying and all of that, but he still made it through. I mean, I'd probably be hollering on the ice bath tip. I ain't never even did the ice bath tip, but I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? But it's still the moment still made sense like we like listen i've i've experienced the workout to but this like being worked out to the point where you throwing up and falling out and all of that like this is not something that's that women should really be around because when they around they want to save the baby but i remember those moments and they are very valuable to me of having those coaches push us through and teach us things not only about sports and winning but about life like some of these coaches that we had were able to have bonds with us where they, they could get away with doing things. They could coach certain coaches could walk up and blow your chest out. Wow. Taste of milk, you know, stuff that would get you sued in this day and age. But we weren't tripping over it because we knew it was coming from a place of love and a place of helping us push through in a place of discipline when we was acting out and we knew we was acting out. So it's like, but of course, a mother couldn't be around for that. You know what I'm saying? But we understood as we were going through it. We didn't like it all the time, but the push through and the brotherhood of the sports and this, that, and the other helped us wrap our minds around it. And we wanted to be better. And the coaches wanted us to be better. And I had to shout out coaches because most kids, even if they do have a father in the home, they're not going to experience, they may not work out with their father. So they're going to experience that workout, that push through, maybe a lot of times with a coach. 
But imagine if you have both. Imagine if you have time that you can take your son and put them in sports and this, that, and the other. And when they come home, they have a father like Dwight Howard who is going to push them as a father and work out with them and do what needs to be done to elevate them to the next level and to teach them life lessons, to teach them how to be a man, to teach them how to treat a woman, to teach them how to follow God, to teach them how to be leaders and how to be the foundation and covering for their families. Like mothers have a specific way in which they nurture and teach the children too. And it is also priceless, but you cannot block fathers from teaching valuable, priceless lessons to the children that need to be taught even if you don't agree in which the manner that they teach them. Got to give them room to work. This is your boy P. Kemp. Let me know what you think, what you don't think.